this video we'll think about some straight line graphs and we'll start with y equals 2x and think about why it gives us a straight line and what we can tell from the form. Um, so remember the graph is the set of all the points uh, whose coordinates satisfy this relationship so the coordinates uh, x comma y where x is this axis and y is the vertical one here um, so values that work here uh, things like I could take uh, so x equals 1, then y would be 2 times 1, so that would be 2. If I took x equals 2, that would give y is 4. So there's a couple of points. I've got 1, 2, and 2, 4. I could have 0, 0. So this one goes through the origin, 0, 0. We could have minus 1, minus 2, minus 2, minus 4. Uh, we could have 3, 6, minus 3, minus 6 etc and loads of values in between so that leads to this graph here and um, you know we can see if we increase x by 1 that means that uh, y increases uh, by 2 um, so uh, x goes up by 1 y goes up by 2 and that's true uh, everywhere on this graph and for um, a straight line uh, that's what we call the gradient of the straight line. It's sort of how steep, uh, how steep the line is. And a formula for the gradient is the change in y divided by the change in x. So any two points, if I looked at the change in y, here it's two divided by the change in x. That's one. I could, I don't have to go just between uh, something with one unit. If I went from here all the way up to here, here the change in x would be two, and the change in y would be four. And so the gradient here, which is two, we can see, and we've got see we've got y equals two x. And if we change that value, we can change the steepness of the line. So if I had y equals three x, you can check that some points on here. Well, again, it would go through the origin, but it would now go through one three and two six minus one minus three and minus two minus. And that would be a graph with a gradient of three passing through the origin. There, um, you know, uh, we could also just have y equals x, that would just be like y equals 1 times x, so that would be all the points where the x and the y coordinates uh, are the same, giving us this straight line which has gradient 1. So in general if we have y equals m times x, then m is the gradient of the line. Every time x goes up by 1, y has to go up by m times 1, or just m, so that gives us the gradient. And the gradient doesn't have to be positive, it could be negative as well, so we could have y equals minus 2x, so that would still go through 0, 0. But now if I put in x equals 1, I get y equals minus 2. x equals 2, y equals minus 4. x equals minus 1, y equals plus 2. Um, so that now goes through points here. 1, minus 2, 2, minus 4, 3, minus 6, etc. So um, if the gradient is negative, we see that every time x increases, y decreases, so the gradient is negative, i.e. a change in y of plus 1, x is increasing, leads to a change in y of minus 2, so that formula uh, change in y divided by change in x still uh, still holds to give us the gradient. And the gradient doesn't have to be a whole number either, I could have y equals 1 third x or uh, 5 thirds x and it would go up um, 5 thirds or 1 third for, uh, for each unit of x. And what about the graph of y equals 2x plus 2. Well, if you think about it, anything that worked for y equals 2x, the same coordinate's going to work with y increased by 2. So whereas for y equals 2x, we could have had 1, 2, well, we now, uh, now if you put in x equals 1, we get 2 times 1 plus 2, which is 4. So we increase that by 2 uh, to get 1, 4. That's now a point on this graph. If I uh, put in x equals 2, I get y equals uh, 6. Um, if I put in x equals 0, I get y equals 2. And you could see there are some other points here um, uh, like this. So this is what the graph of y equals 2x plus 2 looks like. This is very similar to the graph of y equals 2x uh, here. It's just been shifted slightly. So actually, um, uh, rather than going through the origin here, it's got uh, it's gone through 2 on this axis and minus 1 uh, on, on this axis. And we can see if we put in x equals 0 into this relationship, we get y equals 2 times 0 plus 2, which is y equals 2. So y equals 2 when x equals 0. And similarly, if we wanted to put in y equals 0, 
well that would give us 0 equals 2x plus 2 and that rearranges to give uh, x equals minus 1 so there are those two uh, coordinates. Now the one that's a most obviously appeared from the formula is rather than the x-axis intersection is the y-axis intersection. It's this plus 2 here that's uh, ended up uh, here and that's true and that's true in general. If I change this to y equals 2x plus 4 well uh, it's still a, it's got that gradient too um, uh, but now it goes through uh, 4 on, on the on the y-axis. If I changed it to y equals 2x minus 5, then it will go through minus 5 on the y-axis, because essentially I've taken that graph of y equals 2x, and for any particular x value, if this was y equals 2x, uh, well, if 2x gave 0, 2x minus 5 for the y value will give, you know, minus 5. All these points essentially have been uh, shifted uh, shifted down by 5 units, or for these ones, uh, you know, up by the uh, number of units that they were. So in general, if we have a graph that's y equals mx plus c, we've got m that gave us the gradient, here it was 2, and plus c, or it could be a minus c, so we might think of that as plus minus 5 in, in this example, gives us the y-axis intercept, i.e. that means that the point uh, 0, comma c, uh, here this is the point 0, minus 5, say, um, that point there labelled as the point 0, 2, uh, lies on the graph of that function. And between those two things, you can draw the whole graph. If I know uh, a point where the, a, a straight line starts, if I, if I knew it started here, say, and I knew how steep it was, then I could use that to, to draw a graph of, of that straight line. That's all, the, that's all the information I need. So let's just look at that for a few different values. Here I've got um, y, the graph of y equals x plus 1. So we've got m equals 1 and c equals 1. So it's a gradient of 1 and it goes through the y axis here at 1. Uh, if I increase the gradient, you can see m changing, the graph gets steeper, there we get to 2, and we keep going, so it doesn't have to be a whole number, 2.5, 2.6, going up to uh, 3 and beyond. Um, if we just put that back to 1 uh, and go the other way, we get uh, y equals 1 half x plus 1. Uh, y equals 0x plus 1, these are special graphs where this is just 0x plus 1, so that's just y equals 1, a horizontal line. And as we saw, if we get a negative gradient, uh, it's a graph that goes down. So it's really important to be able to recognize between a positive and a negative gradient, something like that. Negative gradient and something like that, which is a positive gradient. Um, and similarly, if we change a C, uh, so uh, here, if I you know add 1 to C, you can see the y axis intercept is changing, the x-axis intercept is changing as well, and we could work that out, but it's the y-axis one that's most obvious from the form, so when, so this is now y equals minus x plus 4, um, goes up and down the page, and for negative values of c, uh, we've got a negative uh, intercept uh, here, so this has got minus m and minus c, so this is y equals minus 1x uh, minus c, could change uh, m again perhaps, and so we can get all sorts of different straight lines, in fact we can get any, uh, you know, any straight line in this form, apart from, I suppose, straight lines uh, straight lines like this blue one here, this is just the line uh, x equals 1, x equals uh, 2, we can change, um, you know, uh, change that x equals 3, these sorts of straight lines you can't write in the form uh, y equals mx plus c because they're and they've got no lots of y, they're like x, they're just x equals something, um, but between those two uh, forms we've got all the different uh, sorts of straight lines you can make and that form y equals mx plus c is a really standard and widely used one that you need to be uh, familiar with it's not the only way you can write down the straight line and it turns out there are actually lots of other forms of straight lines that are that are really useful depending what you're doing uh, but this is just one form that is very useful